Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're excited to provide an overview of the new studio updates in Addis 4.1. Let's get started. There are two Link Studio based enhancements in the improvements added to Addis 4.1. The first of these is an automated first crack zone zoom function. The first crack zone indication was introduced in Addis 4.0. In 4.1, when this feature is activated, it has been further improved to allow the user an automatically enhanced view of this stage. Let's see it in action. As the live profile approaches the estimated point in the roast, the first crack should occur. The studio will automatically zoom in on this area of the roast curve to enhance the view. This zoom is triggered 25 seconds before reaching the indicated first crack zone. When the user logs the first crack, the screen zooms out to the standard complete profile view. If DTR isn't logged, the view returns to normal around 15 to 20 seconds after the first crack indicated zone ends. This function can be enabled or disabled in the general option depending on a user's preference if they want this feature on. Alongside the automated functions, some view buttons have been added for quick actions even if the automation is turned off. When clicked, the FC magnifying button will show the zoom that will occur in the first crack area. This can be handy when creating or editing profiles or manually managing the first crack view. The next view button that will be helpful to users is the total zoom out magnifying button. When this is clicked, the view will return to full screen from any point you have zoomed in on. This is a handy, easy way to return to a complete profile view after you are finished looking at specifics during a roast or editing precise adjustments when customizing your roast profiles. Let's move on to the final feature to be discussed for this 4.1 update. This feature is ROR Data Point Selection. This preference selection has been created to allow users to choose their preferred setup. If the ROR display is set to draw data from the actual ROR line, which we see is highlighted in red, or from the desired ROR line that is indicated in yellow. A selection of their preferences can be made from the general options. As a start, we recommend the desired ROR view as the link default because it is generally a more familiar data point for users and is similar to standard commercial roasting software. And that's a wrap for the Addis 4.1 Studio update. These changes aim to make the link even more approachable for every user. We hope these improvements enhance your roasting experience. As always, happy roasting.